all right what's up y'all it's 202 wink and in this video i will be telling y'all how to revise your resume quick and to the point the first thing that employers see is your resume before they get to see you talk to you even if they want to choose you for an interview nine times out of ten the first thing they saw is your resume so i'm gonna just break it down quick and simple so i can just push this video out so number one in your resume let's start with the don'ts okay in your resume you don't have to specify your age. You don't have to specify your hobbies. You don't have to specify what you want to do in the field. You're telling them what you have done, what you can do, and what you will do. You're telling them what you bring to the table. You're basically selling yourself. But you're not selling them as, oh, I want to do this and I want to do that. No, you're telling them, this is what I got. This is who I am. This is what I bring. And either you want me or you don't. You know what I'm saying? Not telling y'all to go up in there being all, you going to give me this job. But... That's why your resume needs to look like that. You know what I'm saying? So y'all got to get these resumes together. Let's start off with the first part, which is your summary. So I've seen resumes where, they, where the summary is talking about, you know, um, uh, I want to do this and I want to do that and I'm looking to do this. Your resume should tell you the years of experience you have in something and the things that you've worked with. For example, okay, this is an IT help desk resume right here. Six years of experience in customer service. What do I always tell y'all? Customer service is the most important thing. If you don't have nothing else, you need customer service, okay? So, six years of customer service, three years experience in information technology, and six years of maintenance ex experience, okay? Now, maintenance can mean anything, so that's always good. You also got to use those SEO words. Certain words have different meanings, but if you could put it in there, you know what I'm saying? Because this is my resume. When I said six years of maintenance experience, I was definitely talking about cleaning and scrubbing. You know what I'm saying? Not like computer maintenance or whatever. So, uh, yeah. And like I said, you tell them what you bring to the table. Offering skills and technical support, software troubleshooting and installation, great organizational skills, experience in Microsoft applications, hardworking and dependable. So you told them about tech things. And they, remember I said, don't be telling them things of your hobbies. But you tell them that you're uh, dependable, hardworking, timely, all that. You know what I'm saying? Those type of things that they want to hear when you're going to tell them about yourself. Not that you're 23 years old and you love crab legs. You know what I'm saying? That's your little summary. All right. And then from then on, you tell them your work experience. And this is one of the most important things, too. When you tell them your work experience, because I always say in my videos, tweak your resume to the job that you're going for even if it's like little teeny tweaks to make them you know what i'm saying because i told y'all most places have these dang somebody pulling up in my type of truck but most of these jobs have these things where or these systems where they can like pretty much sort through resumes without really having to look at them just to find certain words certain keywords so let me see all right so it professional which is my on here that's my latest job usually on your resumes you don't really have to put your latest job because you're working there and they can't really go contact the company because that can uh basically interfere with you working there so remember that but you just tell them one about the technical things that you can pull out of a job i don't care if you worked at walmart i worked at walmart do i got that on my resume yes what do i have on there setting up um setting up test systems i mean not test system but what you call it little demos you know when you set up the laptops and all the, the display items and all of that and troubleshooting when it comes to like little stuff i'm just saying no matter what you do you can pull tech out of it tech is everywhere i just redid my man resume he uh he worked for amazon i made that resume tech as a mug from all his old jobs working at whatever warehouses whatever mechanic whatever shoppers whatever you can transfer your transform your resume into a tech resume it's possible even if you do it ai generated you know what i'm saying yes you can go take your resume copy it and put it into an ai ai paragraph generator and have them change certain words certain things to sound more technical yes that's a real thing all right so you're gonna put in all your experience just take all the tech stuff and put it on there okay nothing else just all the tech stuff you know what i'm saying and then you'll put your education um you went to high school, cool, put it on there. Um, you can even put special classes that you might have took. I took computer graphics and coding. So I don't put, I don't have that on, let me see. I don't think I have that on my skills, but computer graphics and co well, coding can be on my uh, resume if I wanted it to. But yeah, so you'll put your schooling, your, uh, what you got, whatever. And then you'll put your skill set at the bottom as well, which can be software installation, active directory, system upgrades, security, backups, ticketing. And if, see, if you don't have experience in some of these things, do your research and get your experience. You know, you got a regular PC at home. You have the active directory on all PCs. You might got to enable it or something like that, but you do have active directory on these, y'all. It's all about the resume.
the main thing I want y'all to take from this is customer service. The second thing I want y'all to take from this is turn it tech. If you don't have any technical experience, like I said, you was working at Walmart, even if you was a cashier, you can make that turn tech. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you, it's possible. Now, certifications. No. Do I have any? No. Do you need some? No. Four-year degrees. Do I have one? No. Do you need one? No. I told y'all before in uh, other videos, they're pretty much doing away with requiring four-year degrees. Why do you need a four-year degree where you can learn this in 60 days? Two months, for real. Like, two, three, four months. You can learn this stuff fast, y'all. You can be self-taught. You can go to school for it. I went to school for it. I did six to nine months, okay? Got my little help desk diploma. I did me an internship at the Gadget Guys located in Fort Washington, Merlin. Tell them I sent you. Um, that's why I got my hands-on experience outside of school. I'm talking about uh, cleaning PCs, replacing screens, uh, installing software, uninstalling, my password breaking, all of that. It's all possible. So I'm just trying to help y'all get these jobs, do these resumes. Um, I do still have a resume class coming up. I'm still just like getting a little bit of stuff together for it. I'm trying to do two things in one. I want to get the class together, and I'm also going to do an ebook. All all these little videos and stuff that y'all hear i mean all these little videos and stuff that y'all seeing to me talking about it help desk guess what that's gonna go into a little book a little ebook just giving y'all the basics but also the main things okay so i'm giving y'all the basics which y'all need to know and the main things which will include resume revamping uh things to look forward to things to not have to worry about things you know just basically a book like put it all together so like comment subscribe share i'm gone